Welcome back to my channel. I'm Monica Babsetti. Thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing the process of me learning hula hoop. It's not a tutorial. I want to film the entire process how I learned hula hoop. So if anybody does this hooping thing, I look with amusement like Ella Jastara Slidhi and Jeppi. Now we have a lot of time in lockdown, so I bought this hoop from a local store which is super super cheap and it reminds me of a Ludo game for some reason because of these assorted colors which I do not at all like this but I don't have any other choice. So I watched like zillion YouTube videos to know the technique but it's completely based on practice. So I want to get used to it first like by doing some hand hooping, neck hooping and at last waist hooping. So I took 3 day challenge to learn this and we'll see how it goes. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So first we'll do hand hooping which is super easy and a kid can do this. That's it and we'll do the wrist hooping like these are some hand tricks like frame this hoop around you like this and release. You have to run through this your fingers. And next neck hooping which is also easy but it will take some time. You have to push your neck to one floor. This is day one practice. I think waist hooping is tough compared to other types. Like it's so difficult to balance on waist at first. It felt like I couldn't be able to complete this challenge on time. Yesterday I could hoop hardly for a few seconds, like 2-3 rounds. I've been practicing a lot since then. And I think I found my technique. What I'm doing is, I'm keeping my leg forward, facing diagonally and pushing my hip to and fro. It seems like I'm rotating my waist but what I'm actually doing is pushing the hoop. of day two but still I have to learn balancing it for a long time. Here is the last day and I got it. So concentration is so much important. While hoping you shouldn't lose your contact with the hoop and you shouldn't be uptight with your breath. These are the two things you have to keep in your mind. It's my three day challenge. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, like, I'm hooping uh, second day, ke sindi, but balancing and I'm hoop the third day. Ki kunchum practice wala sindi, so, you can see the progress of day three. The trick I learned is if you feel like your hoop is falling down, you have to hoop fast so that the hoop mali pai ko sindi, So, you can keep balance like that and you can hoop for the long time. So, hooping is best for reducing belly fat and getting abs. But these lightweight hoops won't work for that. You have to get weighted hoops. For beginners, get your hands on these lighted hoops and then upgrade to weighted hoops. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please do subscribe. Hit the bell button below. Bye-bye.